All right, y'all ever been in a place where you just don't feel comfortable? Like you were invited, but not really invited, so you just stand in the corner and shit? For some reason, that place for me is Target. Yeah, the store. <laughs> I don't know how, but every time I go inside that place, I feel like I'm in some kind of different society or something. And to an extent, I am. Like, Target has a very particular customer base, you know? Like, 90% of that place is soccer moms with SUVs and 20-year-olds who run Santa accounts. Like, that is a very well-known fact. You don't see people lined up at Walmart for Taylor Swift albums, but at Target? I mean, the evidence is right there. But back to what I was saying, Target has this very specific type of customer. And when I come in there dressed like Kanye on award night, well, it's a bit of a mismatch to say the least. I don't know what it is, a brother just gets immediately uncomfortable inside of a Target. Like the moment I step foot in that store, all my social skills and logic get zapped from my mind. I go in there and basically just become an NPC. Don't know how, I should probably get that checked out honestly, but I don't know man, that place just does something to you. Like I went there to go get AirPods, right? I'm there, I hit the button for help, I tell the person I'm trying to buy AirPods, and then they go to get them. Simple stuff, right? Somehow, no, because when they went to the register, I somehow didn't notice, so for like half a minute, I'm just staring at an iPad like... And then after I realized, oh shit, I should probably go pay for that, the cashier or whatever says, that'll be $206 or something like that. And somehow, I fucked up again and hand them 200 I didn't even notice. I was like, oh, here you go, completely not registering the fact that, you know, that's not enough money. And I know what y'all are thinking, Sago, you have anxiety. Probably. But I swear, this is the only place where I act like that. Like, I can be comfortable in a Walmart, I can be comfortable inside of a Kroger. Man, I can even be comfortable in a Kohl's. Who the hell shops at Kohl's? I don't think it's just me either. Like, even Target employees seem to have a spell on them. You ever been inside of a Target in the morning? 8 a.m., that place would feel like the Twilight Zone or some shit. And don't get me wrong, I know working in retail is ass. I know working at 8 a.m. is ass, believe me. But that was just creepy. No one's there, no one's talking. It's just for us and lighting and... And then I got to thinking, do y'all remember when Target was fun? The neon lights, that funky carpet, the whole ass cafe they used to have. Shit, mine had a pizza hut in it. So nostalgic. I remember lying about reading books to get a free pizza and a slushie. Now, none of that's there. It's just a Starbucks. Like, you can't get sadder than that, honestly. Then there's another weird thing. Have y'all noticed how hard it is to work at a Target? I don't mean the job itself, of course, but like, getting hired at Target is for some reason an infamously difficult task to the point where there's a guide up on how to get hired, which you know, like keep in mind, when I'm talking about it being hard to get hired, I'm not talking about some high up corporate position or a distribution thing. No, I'm talking about part time, the bottom of the bottom, a job that can barely be considered a job. Way back in like 2022, my friend and I were both kind of tired of slaving at McDonald's. So we applied to Target just to see what would happen. And spoiler alert, eight shit happened. I applied for like an electronics position, which in retrospect was kind of dumb because these stores never hire people to work over there. But yeah, like I said, I applied for electronics because aside from a couple other things, that was all that was available. And when I applied, it was summer. You guys want to know when they got back to me? Fucking February. Now the fact that they got back to me at all should probably be celebrated, but the way they got back to me is so insane it leaves no chance for that. So first of all, by this point, February 2023, I already had a different job. But beyond that, these people got back to me eight months later to offer me a fucking makeup position. <laughs> yes, I, a male, was offered the position of style consultant at a store that wasn't even near me. <laughs> uh, they didn't even have a job at the one I applied at. Now that I think about it, low key, should I have taken that job? Like, I 100% would not have been qualified for it, but shit, that would have made a pretty good story. But anyway, I will stop there. Uh, fun fact, at the end of these videos, I put up like little notes before the end screen and stuff. I'm mentioning that because a lot of y'all click off right before them, so I'm putting that out there. Uh, stick around for those. Also, press the like. Okay, bye.